factorize 2x cubed plus 9x squared plus 38x plus 21. Okay, now to factorize this, this uh, the, there's a technique uh, by which you can find or you can make a guess and check method where uh, the coefficient is, uh, the constant is 21. So the factors of 21, so we can say the factors of 21 uh, are 1, 3, uh, 7, and 21. It can be plus or minus 1, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 7, plus or minus 21. Okay, this means, this implies the factors can be uh, x plus or minus 1, x uh, plus or minus 3, and so on. Okay, x plus or minus 7 or x plus or minus 21. Now, if you add the coefficients, it is never going to be 0. So, to determine whether x plus 1 or x minus 1 is a factor, let us add the coefficients. So the sum of coefficients, you don't even need to add them. You can say it's not equal to 0, which implies x minus 1 is not a factor. It's not a factor. Now for x plus 1, you add the odd power coefficient. And I'm not doing it, but you can see 2 plus 38. 2 and 38 are the coefficient of odd power variables. So x cubed and x to the power 1, I name them as the odd power uh, odd power variables and the coefficients are 2 and 38. So just uh, let me write 2 plus 38 is 40 and the even power coefficient, this 21 can be said as 21 x to the power 0. So x to the power 0 and x to the power 2, I'm calling them as even power coefficients. So if you add 19 plus 21, yes, it is. Uh, 19 plus 21 is 40. So this implies, uh, you can say x plus 1 is a factor. Okay, x plus 1 is a factor. Okay, I didn't realize that, yeah x plus 1 is a factor. So let us factorize this. So if x plus 1 is a factor, I'm going to divide by uh, negative 1. Okay, so I'm doing the synthetic division method. So let me write the coefficients like this. So the coefficients are 2, 19, 38, and 21. So I'm going to divide by, as x plus 1 is a factor, I'm going to divide by uh, negative 1. So this is a synthetic division method where you start by 0, or if you don't put any number, that's all right. You add these two numbers. So this is 2, and then you multiply these two numbers. So 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Now 19 take away 2 is 17. 17 times negative 1 is negative 17. So this is... Uh, I'm doing something wrong. Uh, 17, yeah. So this is 21, yeah. So this is 21, and 21 times negative 1 is minus 21. So this is the remainder. So the remainder is 0. So you can say uh, the, you can say 2x cubed, even without looking at the example, I can see this is 2 stands for 2x cubed. 2 stands for 2x cubed. Or the coefficient of x cubed, 19 stands for 19x squared. 38 stands for 38x plus 21. So we have said that x plus 1 is a factor because you're dividing by negative 1. So x plus 1 is a factor. So And the, and the quotient would be the other part or other polynomial would be this 
this is 2x cubed. So, sorry, this is 2x squared. This is 2x squared plus 17x plus 21. So, yeah, you can also check, I uh, guess, uh, make a uh, check. 2x squared times x is 2x cubed and 1 times 21 is 21. So, you can check the first and the last, the middle term. Uh, this 19x squared and 38x would be obtained by uh, expanding with the uh, whole expression. So now we have to factorize this quadratic form. So I hope you know how to factorize that. So yeah, this is x plus 1 times. Yeah, so the technique is you multiply 2 times, 2 times 21 is 42. So you have to think about two numbers which multiply to give you 42 and if you add them you get 17. So 21 and 2, 21 and 2 gives you 42 but if you do 21, so let me do it here, if you do 21 plus 2 that is uh, 23 but we want 17 so this is not going to work so what is the next so seven times uh, you can say seven times six is 42 but seven plus six is 13 so this is also not going to work what is the next so seven times uh, this is okay so this is seven times uh, so this is 6 times 7, okay, so 17, you want to get 17, okay, so this is so 7 times 2 times 3, so yeah, 14 and 3 is 42, yeah, I can see, because I was, what I did was I split the 6 into 2 and 3, so 14 times 3 is 42, so if you go 14 times 3 is 42, and 14 plus 3 is also 17. So this is fine. So I'm going to write this. I'm going to split the middle term as I'll write 2x squared as 2x squared plus 14x plus 3x plus 21. Now this is called splitting off the middle term. Now you have to group. So this is one group and this is the next group. So this would be same as x plus 1. What is common in this group? You can factor out 2 from the numbers and x from the variable. So 2x is common. So you have x plus 7. And what is common here? You can't, you have 3 common. So you have x plus 7. So this is called factorizing by grouping. So finally, let me write the answer. So the final answer would be x plus 1 times x plus 7 times 2x plus 3. So these are the factors of this polynomial.